What comes to mind when you think of salmonella? Ink. Vomiting. Poison. Professor of food microbiology at Rutgers University, Donald Schaffner, has studied the dangerous germ for more than a decade. It's responsible for um, many, many cases of foodborne disease every year. But now, instead of making people sick, it's thought salmonella can actually help heal. Breast cancer, prostate cancer, uh, pancreatic cancer. It was very surprising to me. Scientists at Cancer Research Center in Missouri have developed a new strain of salmonella. This is not the strain that you would see off of the street. It's a strain that won't cause typical food poisoning symptoms. Once injected into the bloodstream, the salmonella has been engineered to migrate directly to cancer cells and tumors. We have a large group of unique non-toxic salmonella that could target spread throughout and disrupt tumors while not harming normal cells. The bacteria are actually attracted to the cancerous environment because it's low in oxygen, while high in a compound called purine that a different detoxified salmonella strain needs. We've been able to hone what nature started into this treatment. It's thought salmonella kills cancer cells by releasing some of its own toxins. Other labs have turned the bacterium into a kind of Trojan horse, carrying chemotherapy into a tumor. And unlike some traditional cancer treatments, this seems to have few side effects. You can go about your business and still get better. Virtually every woman in Maria Siniskolki's family, including her sister Cindy Krause, have battled breast cancer. Well, you hear those, you have cancer, and you feel your world is collapsing. The potential of this new treatment, they say, not only offers them hope, but also hope to their families' future generations. Anything that comes up that they think is better is, to me, it's worth looking into it. While Duke University researchers have been similarly successful in treating aggressive forms of brain cancer with salmonella in animals, human clinical trials are still likely years away. Dr. Max Gomez, CBS 2 News.